Hi, I'm David and welcome to Leisure Bit. And today I'm going to be fitting this box to store things such as my hookup cable underneath here, but to stop it rolling around. I sometimes use a smaller hookup cable so I can keep this stored under here then. And I didn't want it kind of touching against the heating outlet, which is uh, just down here. And my plan is to fit it here. So let's get cracking. I'm going to use a bit of conduit just on the front here um, just to stop it moving around in that direction so left and right when we're going along and I'm going to use a piece of wood with two screws at this side and a smaller piece at this side just to stop it shifting around but it can easily be lifted out. So you can see there I'm just going to screw that piece of wood there when we straighten things up. We've got the conduit there and then we've got the strip at the other side to screw down. So just going to level everything up, get those strips screwed down and I'm going to put a little bit at the back just so that it presses up against here and then that, that'll stop it swinging around basically. And I'm just going to leave a little bit of a gap here so it's not pressing up against the water filter which is there. Um, so I'll just fit it uh, probably about there. That looks about right to me. Check everything's levelled up. We'll get that screwed down. Tend to find rather than using an electric screwdriver, it's easier just to use a manual one when you're doing this so you don't uh, kind of pull the floor up by going too mad. Let's get that nice and straight. Make sure that's level. Let's move that back. We'll screw that down now. There we go, that's nice and solid. Now rest up against there. So do this side now. I'm just going to lift the box out now to screw the, the back end of it in. Check that's nice and straight. Looks about right there. And we'll screw this bit at the back down now. Just be careful if you've done your van build that there's no pipes or cables running through underneath. To the best of my knowledge, there isn't anything running under here. We'll soon find out though. It's nice and solid there. It's nice and solid. Just one last final turn here. There we go. That's not going to move anywhere. Just check it still fits. Perfect. So now I'm just going to stick this conduit down. I'm actually going to use it to uh, run a wire along as well, but it'll stop it moving around there. And then I'm just going to pop a bit of padding at the back just to hold it there. You could, of course, always pop a bit of wood along here as well. So I've just added a bit of that insulation I used in the back doors and a little bit there just to stop it banging around. One, two batons. The conduit, which I've actually used to feed a cable through, which is handy. And then we've got the a little bit of padding at the back there just to stop it sliding around. Right, so let's pop the box in. Pushes on there, tucks in there, and then that's nice and tight. And it's not going anywhere, but we can lift it out if we need it out. So there we go, that solid box. Stops it crashing into the electric stuff here and it stops it running into the heater. You can pop your cable and that sort of thing in it. So I've got the um, basket here from Tesco's. It was reduced to just under four pound. And then the other bits and pieces were just scrap bits I've got from other jobs I've done, such as the battery and things like that. So it cost me under a fiver, but if you needed all the bits, obviously it'd be a little bit more. And it's taken about 15 minutes to do. Thank you for watching. I hope you found that useful and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.